Hello, this is Alex from Trainer Day. I'm going to demo our new plans module. It's called plans beta at the moment, but it's up here. It's going to be a new menu item that's going to be called training plans. And I'm going to, this particular video is showing how to create plans. And, you know, if you're a plan author, how to create them, you can create either private plans or public plans, plans and I will show that. <clears throat> Okay, so here I am, I'm, I've simulated that I have no plans. What you can see over here is that I do have my favorite ERGDB workouts. And so um, I've got all my lists here. Uh, what I do recommend before you create a training plan is to create a bunch of lists or create some lists and get some workouts in there that you want as a part of your plan so that you're all organized. So just make sure that your li my library up here has got workouts in it and then you'll see these over on this side so the first thing i do when i want to create a new plan is obviously click on click on create a new plan i name it let's just call it alex's first plan and you pick the plan type um if you're not sure you can just say other um a base a build a peaker a race these are i'm going to have definitions of what these are but generally these are the american standard terms or, or very common terms in america let's say for for the period type uh, base for example is like maybe a winter time you know low intensity generally i mean different people have different definitions as to what is base but but it's it's base it's it's what you do to kind of um build up your aerobic skills during the winter or your aerobic abilities during the winter anyway so i'm just going to create a four-week plan this time just to keep it short and easy let's just say it's on monday wednesdays and fridays we would give some kind of nice description here as to what what's the benefits of this plan or what it's for or who it's for and then i'll hit save so now i've got my training plan i've got some workouts here um, it says that this is now a private workout so this is private meaning it's only for me and there's nothing in it so it should only be for me once i get it ready then i can switch it to public and then anybody can find it in the search i will show that in a little bit later so i'm going to start off I, I created a couple examples these are some short workouts 20 minutes or around 20 minutes um, let's just say we're going to start this is a base plan and let's just say this is a very minimalistic base plan because they're 20 minute workouts i only have one in here right now um, but i'll go ahead and just drag that on here uh, monday wednesday and fridays so the first week we're just doing something really easy just three recovery rides you know this is for maybe let's say a total beginner <clears throat> and then maybe the next week we'll start off with one a little bit harder not much and now I'm going to skip forward to the end of the plan. Let's see, finish it off with a 32 minute. So this is our longest ride of the thing. So there's there's a plan and I can just go ahead and make that public. So I say, OK, yes. And now it gives me the read only view. And this is very similar to the view that a consumer of your plan, now that it's a public plan or an open source plan, this is what a, a consumer would see and then they would be able to come in and make a clone of it for themselves and modify it if they feel like but that's all there is that's it that's creating a plan thank you very much